Hello GQ, I'm London Norris and these are my 10 essentials. My race helmet. I mean, it's not something I would probably carry with me day to day, but it's something that is just very important in my life because it protects my life every weekend that I go racing. So this is me, this is my design. This is one of the only things really in Formula One and racing that the driver gets to pretty much have complete control of. And each driver shows them personality, colors, whatever it is. Now, growing up, I was a massive fan of Valentino Rossi. Even though he's in MotoGP and motorbikes and got nothing to do with car racing, I got into that before I got into Formula One. So these colors were always inspired by him since I was a very young age, but I've had to try and make it more me rather than just a copy of him, because that's pretty much how I started. I'll start with my logo. It's my logo here on the side. L, N, stands for my name. But what a lot of people don't realize is that I'm also number four. Like here, British flag, Belgian flag. From my dad's side, my mom's from Belgium, not many people know that either. Yeah, not many people realize that if you look inside the L and the N, uh, it's number four. I've only had number four since I joined Formula One. Nothing else really meant anything to me before. Like I changed numbers a lot of times because I had to for various reasons um, or because I couldn't pick the numbers that I wanted to. So I had to kind of come up with something new when I came into Formula One and number four was, was that. But the yellow and the blue are kind of colors I've had for many years now. Especially the fluorescent yellow, that's kind of my color. It's something I've had since I, I started karting. Stands out, it's bright, it looks bold. There's a lot of people who have kind of have dull, boring-ish helmets and you can't see from the outside very well exactly who it is. But with this, it's very easy. I just hope I'm going quick while people are looking at me, not when I'm in the gravel or something. As you can see with this, it's a little bit inspired by the sun, again, or from Valentino Rossi. Valentino has uh, the sun and the moon uh, on the helmet. It's a little bit like the sun, but it's changed. I've changed a little bit to kind of go all the way more around the helmet rather than look like just the sun. But it's still that resemblance to him, which, uh, which I always want to keep because he's the guy that got me into racing in the first place. Tear-offs, gets dirty on track, flies, dirt, dust, whatever it is. Uh, so got all the tear-offs to, to rip off and renew, have clear vision. I've also got Ellen Kart. Ellen Kart is my go-kart which um, I finally released just uh, last year, I think. I love karting. Karting is some of the most fun times you ever have in racing. Growing up between the ages of eight to 12, eight to 13, they're some of the coolest times and most memorable. So I kind of still want to be involved in it and still have something involved in it. And I still love doing it every now and then when I can. Together with OTK Group and with Tony Kart, we managed to come up with my own kart, my own um, little thing to keep in karting, uh, which are again, similar colors to this. This is the golf ball. Luckily, I've got the Titleist number four here. Pro V1, of course, because I definitely only ever use Pro V1s. But I'm a massive golfing nut. I would say there's few people in the world who are addicted to golf as much as me. And I'm pretty sure that's a fact. But everywhere I go, I always got golf balls in my bag because you never know when you're gonna have to tee it up and hit one. Plus, I get to some lovely courses around the world. So I always got to travel with my golf balls, with my golf clubs, they go everywhere with me. Played quite a few times now with Polter, with Justin Rose, Wiesberger, Jochen Niemann. I think that's how you say it. And I played with Zach Brown. He's a very talented golfer, so a privilege to get to golf with him every now and then. I got another pro-am coming up in Wentworth very soon. So I need to get my practice in. So I'm actually going straight after this interview for some more golf. My Toomey bags, it's not specifically just my rucksack, but I myself am a Toomey partner. I've got everything possible from Toomey, including golf bags, but rucksack, rucksack I go everywhere with. I've even got uh, the small case, the big case. I got a shoe case as well. Every bag you can think of from Toomey. I travel a lot, it makes my life very easy, but I also travel heavy not light in any way. So I have a lot of bags when I travel. But I got a few of the different rucksacks like this one. This is the McLaren one. I can fit everything in, my tablets, phone, whatever it is, golf balls, books that I never read, but I just always carry with me just to look smart, put on the table every now and then, rucksack. So next item, my watch. This is my Richard Mill which is a beautiful, beautiful design. I 
perk of the job. This is one I get given when working here in McLaren. I've had a few different ones now over the years, some, some different ones, but this is my absolute favorite. Very thin, extremely lightweight. You almost don't even feel like you're carrying it ever, but I can drive in it, I can play golf in it. Um, you can do all sports, exercise, whatever in it. And it looks beautiful when it's not my, got my greasy marks on it. Richard Mill watch, uh, looks cool. I have to wear it everywhere. Um, so thanks, Richard Mill. Sunglasses. I have really, I don't have bad eyes, I have good eyes, but I struggle seeing when there's too much sun and like it strains my eyes too much. So I have to wear sunglasses in a lot of places, even inside sometimes when there's too much light. Not because I think I'm cool, because I wear sunglasses inside, but literally because there's a lot of light and my eyes start going really funny sometimes. But these are my very first pair of sunglasses. And not my first ever, but me as a person. LN04, there are sun gods, um, our partner here at McLaren. I basically designed all of this and then they basically like copied what I said. They got a little engraving here. These have to carry around with me everywhere. Inside out, I got a lot of pairs of these. So I basically got one in every single room when I go to the racetrack. There's some sunnies waiting for me. Next up, my hoodie. I am a hoodie guru. This specific one, this is my Quadrant one. Quadrant is my esports team. This was from our latest collection the off-road collection, which looked freaking awesome. This is the black hoodie, there's loads of other ones. Two things with the hoodies. One, I always wear hoodies. I'm a hoodie guy, so whenever I'm traveling, when I'm here at McLaren, I wear hoodies. I just find them a lot more comfortable, they suit me a lot more. Plus, I got a long neck, so it kind of hides my long neck a little bit. Actually, even when I joined McLaren, there was no hoodies that we were allowed to wear. And um, I tried and tried, and finally, I got the clothing team to make me wear a hoodie. So uh, actually at the track, you'll see me in the hoodie now, which I don't think McLaren have ever had until I rocked up. So I'm proud to say I changed the team here for the good and uh, we can now wear hoodies. My tablet. I travel a lot. I spend a lot of times in planes, in cars, going around, going to different countries. Plus I grew up on these things, playing games, whatever, in school, whatever. But uh, watch movies, can work, emails, Although I don't do that too often, it's always, generally always, on the tablet. Headphones. These are my Klipsch McLaren headphones. Lovely cool designs we got here. Looks a little bit like a tire, race tire, intermediate. Again, one of our partners here at McLaren. I always got to travel with them, flying away so much, in a car so much, always listen to music or watching movies, Netflix, whatever it is. I got to wear headphones. The one guy I know more than anyone is, is Daniel. I think he knows the lyrics to pretty much every song ever created. Our taste of music's kind of similar. He's not a guy who goes for like super upbeat stuff too much. He goes for more like chilled, Charlie Stew, Harvey Gunn, just more chilled stuff, relaxing stuff. Like we're on our flights, that's the kind of stuff. But he, I know him more than anyone else, along with Carlos. But Carlos listens to, uh, I don't know what he listens to. But uh, yeah, Daniel's got good taste, I'll give him that. Because I'm such a big gamer and such a big nerd, I take my gaming stuff with me everywhere I go. It's rare that I use a controller because I'm a mouse and keyboard kind of player. Now that disappoints a lot of people, but I grew up only ever really using a steering wheel rather than ever a controller. So with racing and everything, growing up on the PlayStation, I always use a steering wheel and pedals and whatever. So I'm actually pretty shocking with a controller when it comes to any game, whether that's Call of Duty or FIFA, all of that stuff. I love playing those games whenever I travel. I play with my friends whenever I'm away. Only game that I currently play, or actually two, Halo. I got a Halo team in Quadrant. And this is actually our Quadrant controller that we just released with Scuff. So if you want to go and get one of these, you can. But Halo and Escape from Tarkov. Those are the two games I currently play because when I get into a game, that's basically it for like six months and then I'll eventually move on to another game. Quadrant was still quite new. The only actual esports team that I have inside of it is the Halo team who are extremely good. They came out to the French Grand Prix with me a few weeks ago. They're kind of starting off the esports gaming side of it all. But it's expanding, it's getting bigger, which is uh, which is awesome. And I love all of that stuff, all the gaming side of life. So. Would you say that gaming improves that quite a lot? Are they connected in some way? And if you use it properly, like the simulator helped me a lot growing up as a kid between the age of probably, I mean, since I started, you know, playing Gran Turismo, uh, like against my dad when I was like four years old, probably. 
I think that started a lot of my love for racing and also got my eye in and I could learn how to drive a car from a very early age. And then you buy the simulator, you know, you wear the steering wheel, you get the pedals, all of that stuff. That helps you, for sure. You learn tracks, you learn how to drive different cars, and that helps me through my whole career, especially when you get into the professional racing simulators. Then it'll help you a lot. This one, massive perk of the job. So the next item is my McLaren car key. A big perk of being part of McLaren is I get to drive a McLaren. So since my first day here, I've been able to drive some very nice cars. McLaren GT, which fits my golf clubs straight in the back. Literally designed to fit some golf clubs in. I drive that everywhere, but I think it's awesome. McLaren are a team, not only that I watched since I was young and supported and I was a massive fan of, but you know, whenever you're on the street and you see a McLaren pass, when you're a kid, you think one day I want to be able to, or you know, you wish to drive one of those cars. So that wish finally came true. And now I get to drive one every week. Which is, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, pretty awesome perk of the job, McLaren car key. Alrighty, so thank you GQ. Those are my 10 essentials, hope you like them. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to fire them into the comment box below. And uh, see you soon, thank you.